Hi guys and welcome to a Clearing Heaven extra special um, review flip through today. Uh, we have actually three books to get through, three magazine, three issues to get through today and um, two of them are Christmas related and one of them is the annual 2020 which takes a look at the best bits of all the issues of the previous year. So I'm going to start off with the Christmas ones with the most, uh, with the with the um, the less recent one which came out as a special uh, which is the nice little Christmas which is 48 fabulous festive designs by Tatiana Bogema I do believe you can still get this available on their website and it is the artist from a from the I think nice little town books which has got all the little mice in it's very cute I have done a clearing in here and these ones are brand new just out but I'll show you this one first so let's just move these two out of the way for now. Move this a bit more central. And uh, as you can see on the cover, we have the special red falling here for the Christmas edition and also for the collection edition. So there's difference between the collection and the specials. So the collection, are, I think they are every every three I think they're every three to four months so you probably get up I think you get about five a year you get about five a year uh, of these and then the specials are monthly as always you start off with information about the artist about their so, uh, social media following and also about colouring heaven and their social media platforms as well colour combination charts and swatch chart here and then you start with the illustration paper is very nice as uh, we all know and love in the Colour and Head magazines and these are very cute and whimsical great for Christmas uh, for very relaxation relax for la relaxation and what I what I class as mindless colouring uh, coming up to the Christmas season great scenes here I love the little windows that you can see through and you can see all the different mice and what they're doing. Got Santa here. Let me just uh, zoom out a little bit. There we go. And each page is numbered. Sometimes they'll have a description or a title but in this case it does not. This little boy is obviously being naughty. He's trying to capture Santa here. He's got a, he's got a um, and looks at like a noose, uh, rope around the cookies, the milk and cookies, and as soon as Santa steps in he's going to pull the rope and it's going to tighten and it's going to lock against his legs got the cat climbing the tree luckily Shadow does not do that anymore he did when he was a kitten but now he's not so much bothered um, he does not climb up the tree what he will do, he'll sit and lie underneath the tree on the tree skirt. He loves to do that, but that's about it. All cosy there, sleeping in a glove. Now this is my first experience with um, Tatiana's uh, illustrations and I uh, actually really enjoy them actually, to be honest and I'll probably give them a go again in the future And this is the one that I colored myself. Um, I believe I use Prismacolors mostly. Prismacolors, 
and a bit of white gel pen um, and that's predominantly what I used for this and uh, I really enjoy colouring it and I really enjoy how it's turned out. I really like the, the glow effect that I've managed to achieve and I love this about Christmas being all and in, in the winter being all wrapped up in a blanket uh, by a warm fire and um, having a little pamper and uh, some hot drink and some cookies or biscuits. some Christmas carolers, it's quite a nice image. They're very whimsical, as you can see. Sleeping by the fire. Elf workshop making the toys. We've got Santa himself checking his list twice. Got an upstairs downstairs um, scene here. So you do get a lot of images for your money, which is you know, fantastic. 48 images is a lot. And some great like houses to colour, buildings. <laughs> There's even like a sort of grey scary brick pattern here which is quite cool. Someone's making Christmas dinner. And uh, some of them are landscape and some are portraits. And that is it. So that is the nice little Christmas uh, with guest artist Tatiana Bogema. And you can get that directly from Anthem Publishing website. I will leave all the links in the description. So that is the nice little Christmas. The next Christmas one is actually uh, this month's Christmas special, which is a, which is a Christmas special. And it's a multi-artist with multiple artists. And we have Michael Jelena, we have Charles Santor, Alina Lazariva, and we've got Alfred, uh, I think it's Val Valiva, and Creative Happy Life, which is Kim White. And 10p from every issue sold is donated to Mind Charity. So we open up, and as you can see, it's got this one's got the gold filing. And all the covers are matte, so you can colour the covers and the back cover as well. So, as usual, you've got information about each artist that has done work for this book, uh, for this issue. Um, we start with Alina Lazariva. 
and she has done 12 designs uh, Christmas designs for this issue I think some of them are designs that she already had done for her previous book um, I'm not sure if they are any exclusive but on the back it will say if it is an exclusive so, so that is the first one here very cute the toy shop some Christmas baubles which are really cute and they'll be really good to practice your shiny reflective glass an awesome Santa image here stockings this mandala style Christmas tray which is pretty cool And then we go on to Michael Jordan, which only has actually two images in here, which is unfortunate because I do love Michael Jordan's uh, artwork. Um, but what I believe is that because Michael Jordan only has two Christmas images, as I'm aware on Etsy, she has given those two images. And then we have Charles Santor, who actually unfortunately passed away uh, this year. He was a very lovely gentleman, and I had a few conversations with him. And he is he was a absolute gentleman, and I absolutely adored his artwork, and I still do. So it's nice to see his artwork being recognised and put into Coloring Heaven magazine. And I do believe he is uh, he may be in the next issue but my lips are sealed to tell you what it is uh, because I have had a sneak peek of the cover which is the subscriber perks but obviously I'm not going to be able to tell you until it is revealed Uh, his attention to detail and light shading is just fantastic. So these are all of Santa. And some of them are rather sketchy as well, which is quite nice. And then we go into illustrations by Alfred uh, Villan Villaneva. And these look like the 12 days of Christmas images. So the, the song 12 days of Christmas. So we have the partridge in a pear tree, which is the first day of Christmas. And you've got two turtle doves, which is the second day of Christmas. Third day of Christmas, three French hens. These are pretty awesome and I do like the um, sort of motif style that they do have.
fourth day of Christmas, which is three French hens, four. I thought it was swans. It's not supposed to be swans. But these are like swallows. Mm. Oh. I've forgotten the song, that's terrible. <laughs> and then a Christmas tree. Hmm. Maybe it is a bit different than uh, overseas. Six geese are laying. That's supposed to be five gold rings. Oh, I see the rings. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, so four something birds is a four. Uh, I forget which birds they are. Five gold rings. So one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Seven swans are swimming. Eight maids, eight maids are milking. Nine dancers dancing. <laughs> Is this ten men are singing? Obviously, I've not sung a song in a long time. <laughs> Ah, that's supposed to be ten pipe as piping, isn't it? Are they pipers? Eleven pipers piping. Twelve drummers drumming. And then we move on to Create Happy Life, which is actually uh, Kim White. I love the Kim White, and she has a um, she has a art um, an art and design platform called Create Happy Life, and it is like a club. It is a monthly membership, and these are from some of her books, which is pretty cute. I love the little little polar bears. Little gingerbread house. Cute fox. And then the last image, which is the 40th image, is Santa and his reindeer. Also a lovely cute image. And then it gives information about the free colour pencils when you subscribe to Colour and Heaven. So if you've not yet subscribed to Colour and Heaven, it is very much worthwhile and worth the money because you do pay um, less. I think you pay just about less than half price. For per issue as it works out and you also end up getting a free tin of Faber-Castell uh, Gold Faber pencils which are fantastic pencils they're very soft pencils to use and they're worth £24.99 um, this amazing 24 colour pencil set is, is highly pigmented 3.3 millimetre lead made of high quality materials by maximum break resistance excellent life fastness outstanding colour brilliance and smudge and water resistant and uh, the free tin of pencils are yours if you subscribe you'll save up to 35% on the shop price which is just £23.25 every six months every, every issue is delivered direct to your door and never miss an issue so even if you don't like every single issue it still works out overall worth it 
uh, so you will it, it, you know like most subscriptions you'll get months where you'll really like the issue other months not so much but it is pretty much worthwhile and sometimes you'll get an issue that normally you would not pick up but you do get it because you it's part of your subscription you try it and actually you might end up enjoying it so just easy, two easy ways to order go to anthempublishing.com and um, there is a telephone number there as well I'll leave a link in the description on the back it does have a lovely illustration by Kelly O'Gorman which you can colour which is for the Mind campaign um, I will leave a link in the description it isn't it, it, it will be an affiliated link so um, obviously I it is, is affiliated so it does help out the channel if you do subscribe to a subscription by clicking onto that link in the description below and signing up for a subscription and same again comes to the annual 2020 which is not part of the subscription special and um, the subscription specials are on the specials only and not on the collection which is the other two that I've just shown the first one I've shown you which is a nice little towel and then annual which is part of the collection so these you'll need to buy individually outside of your subscription but this is the most recent one to come out of the collection series and it's the annual 2020 and the very best fantasy designs of the year so let's have a look at those now in this one it does not give information about every single artist because it's just going back to the previous issues of the year and highlighting the best parts and uh, the images from the previous issues so starting off with Michael Jelena, which was January's issue, which Gothic Fairy special. And some of these you might still be able to get on the Anthem Publishing website as back issues, uh, as if they've not already sold out. And what I liked about the Gothic Fairy special is that it brought in grayscale, which we don't normally get with quote having a lot. And uh, at first it did cause a little controversy because of how dark the grayscale was. But I think when people started to colour it and try it, they actually really enjoyed it and it was quite a popular issue. And also there was a mix between, there was also some of the line art as well. So it was a mixed issue, which was really cool. I, quite, I rather like when they do um, half of the issue in grayscale and half line art. Gives you a bit of variety in a mix. If you can hear a noise in the background, it is just the computer's fan, so it's a bit loud. Do apologise for that. And then we go on to Herb uh, Leonard which is the uh, Art Nouveau Fantasy Special which was an amazing special which was in February and I absolutely love Herb's art, I've got all these books we have Lady of the Lake I thought this was a fantastic issue And then we had a steampunk special by Hannah Lynn, which was celebrating um, her release of steampunk, uh, steampunk book when that came out, Steampunk Darlings. And there was some exclusive images in the steampunk edition as well, which were not in the book. And I think some of them are in here. I believe these must be all the, all of these must be the exclusives. That was definitely an exclusive. As for this one, and there was a Sherlock one, which was this one. That was an exclusive. I love this one. I did actually start clearing that one. Then we had the Adorable Alien special by Matthew Larson. Um, I would say that was probably my least favourite issue of the year. As I say, you know, people have different tastes. Um, 
it wasn't an issue for me that one but I knew a lot of people did enjoy that one but for me it wasn't uh, an issue that I was going to colour but as I say you know there is always something for everyone Then we go on to the Woodland Fairy Special, which was another fantastic issue by the lovely Christine Karen. And there was a, a lot of exclusive designs in here. And I think all the exclusive designs are reissued in this annual. Even though it is Lionel, it's got a very sketchy sort of vibe to it which gives you a little bit of shading with the sketchiness which helps with you planning out where you put your highlights and your shading these are also available in grayscale on Christine's website as well so if you like the line art and then you want to try the grayscale as well the grayscale editions are on Christine's Etsy store I love this one of the um, Order Lady. I thought it was really nice to you know, have a bit of diversity in the ages that they, you know, the show uh, and draw. You know, drawing it an Order Lady was very interesting and um, very nice to have and be able to practice your skin tone um, with you know some more um, wrinkles and making like a more mature skin. Then we had the Bohemian Beauty Special, which is by T. Fallon. And I quite enjoyed this issue actually. Um, I know some people were not a fan with the third eye thing, but that is that is T. Style, so you either you know you either gonna love it or not. And I really enjoy it. Then we had Sources and Sorcerers Special, which is fantastic designs by Nelly Key Showmaker and uh, a good friend of mine. She is fantastic. And I was very lucky enough to actually be, ish be part of this issue as a colouring page myself, which was image 20 in that special. It's not in this issue, but um, it was very... It was very cool to seeing me uh, made into a wizard with <laughs> and put into the book, which is very cool. I'll treasure that one forever. This is an awesome one. So Naliki does actually do a lot of line art and she also does grayscale images as well. And she has a fantastic style, just adore her um, her style. It's very native, bit of bohemian, um, bit of folklore fantasy as well, all sort of mashed into one. And a little bit of Viking-esque as well sometimes. World Princess Special by Fabiana Tully. I actually called that one for the issue, which was very cool. Managed to practice doing some dark skin tones. And this is quite like a sort of manga ish anime style with the eyes. Then we had the Halloween special. Um, this was a multi artist issue. Uh, so this one was by Vanessa Yotiyomo, which again is like a manga anime style. Then we had Nikki uh, Burnest with her Whimsical Witches. And then we had a Camille Pisfer image. And then we had Vermaaka, sorry Verma, which is also known as Lemon Shortbread. 
on Etsy. And then we had a design by Zoe Sadler. And then the last artist that was featured in the Halloween special was Carissa Rose. This was the grayscale element with the sugar skulls. As you can see. And then we had the Christmas special which I've just shown you. And again that was a multi artist um, that was a multi artist special. Uh, Alina Lazareva. Alfred Valinevia, Michael Gelina, Charles Santor, and then we have Charles Santor again, which is the Alice special, which gives you a, a hint and an idea of what the next issue is going to be. So, when I mentioned before, that I couldn't quite see it yet, but this gives you an indication of what the next issue will be and obviously who's featured. And his Alice book is fantastic. Oh, another Alice image. So this is by Good Wives and Warriors. I wonder if we're gonna get a multi-artist Alice in Wonderland special. Maybe. And a big surprise, dark fantasy special designs by Ennis Guerrero. Hmm, we've not had that issue yet. Are we going to have that at the end of December, maybe, before the year is out? Is Ennis Guerrero going to have her own actual full issue of Colouring Heaven, which we've been longing for forever and ever? And is this image going to be featured in it? Who knows? Keep your eyes peeled. But it's fantastic. It's very much like a Sleeping Beauty sort of image. Fantastic. It's more line art than this one, um, with just a bit shade on the eyes, which is very different to see. And that is the annual guys. So you've also got Makers of Colour and Heaven collection, uh, which is now on sale for the, um, also for the Makers of Colour and Heaven collection, you have the Christmas special, so that is out at the moment. And also you have the calendar of 2020, which I, I believe that I have shown you guys. Um, I'm gonna quickly grab that for you also. If you want to have a quick look at that. Um, I believe you can still get that, it's still available. And it is a fantastic colouring calendar to have, so the calendar 2020. And it is featuring fantastic images, so I'll do a quick flip through again of this, so you guys can see. I have shown this previously. Uh, you do get a image um, by Detsy, which is to colour for now, which, will, which is basically to wrap up the rest of this year which is quite cool to have. So it's giving you September, October, November, December. So it came out in September. And then January 2020, the first image by Nelly K. Showmaker, which is a fantastic image here with a wolf and this lady here. And then January, Monday to Sunday. Now this you just have to pay for as individual, it's not part of any subscription, it is just available to purchase on their website and there is limited quantities available. This one is by Christine Curran, it's again it's a bit more sketchy, it's rather cool, you've got a guy included in the image with some sort of like bat wings, so it's a little bit dark and mysterious this one. So I'm not going to show you every single month but in the months they do tell you when the next issue is going to be out and any sort of special holidays um, across the world. So like UK, US. And February is actually my birthday. So that is gonna be my birthday, 2020 is gonna be on a Monday. Then March, we have an amazing image by Kelly O'Gorman, the lovely Kelly Roman that is. And it is an absolutely fantastic image. Adore this image. Everything to do with spring. This is on very thick card paper as well. So it's a lot thicker than the paper that's in the magazines. And then we have the uh, lovely image here of an Easter image. And this is by Kanoko. Uh, Egusa, Japanese artist. 
Then we have Michael Jelena here. And these images are all exclusive just for the calendar. So you cannot get them from that from the artist. You can't get them anywhere else. It's just for the calendar only. So this gorgeous fairy illustration. Then you have Selena Fennec who's exclusively designed this image of a unicorn princess and her, her unicorn. Then we have Anne Stokes, the dragon queen. So if you like dragons, I'm sure you'll love this one. Then we have Zan Van Zed. So these are some of the artists that were featured last year as well. Then we have White Stag, who does the Misfits. In October we have the fantastic Ennis Guerrero with this Halloween witch, which is a fantastic image. And then November we have the lovely Hannah Lynn with this very autumn style fairy and all the wildlife. And then lastly we have December which is by the lovely Adele Lorraine, Lorraine, which I've just featured on the channel. And she's exclusively designed this Christmas sea style image of these fairies around the candle, which is awesome. And then that's it guys. And then just on the back, it just shows you every single person that is featured and who they are. Give information about their uh, Etsy stores or websites uh, to promote them and 10p of every single issue sold of this calendar sorry 50p from every calendar is sold it goes to mind charity in bath so that is fantastic and it is roughly i believe i think it was 14.99 that i paid for this uh, which is really good considering it's all exclusive images you get 13 images in total it's on very thick paper it's very large as well so it's obviously a big square sh a square, square size and it is spiral bound as well and there's only limited co uh, co copies available so i'll leave all the links in the description for you guys and that's it for the going heaven special for now until we get the next issue so i hope you've enjoyed the flip through review and just uh, having a look to see what the current issues and the very recent previous issues have to offer so head over to going heaven magazine's website and take a look and consider a subscription and uh, yeah i'll see you in the next video take care guys bye bye